Hi everyone! Welcome to the Velvet Room! Welcome to the Velvet Room! We're playing Fire Emblem! Fire Emblem! Let's get to it. Yeah, let's do this uh, shit. We should probably restart. Oh. Yeah. Restart. Yeah, uh... Yes. Yes. Yeah, we actually, uh, did a... We got five <laughs> minutes through an episode and the power went out on us, so... That was... We're starting it fresh! Are you awake? We are. I found you! I got it on the plate! <laughs> We're not doing this again! <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're, you're an you're... unconscious tactician, you got woken up by, uh, by this, this blue-haired chick named Lynn. And Is that blue? Yes. Blue, green, I mean, whatever. And it's green. Blue, green, I, I'd say blue. Maybe I'm colorblind. Maybe. Yeah, and there's bandits out. It's no, it's no bueno. Um, so you're she gonna went up for a that. second. She's like, shit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's bandits, so you're gonna need to fight. But you're useless, so you're gonna just tell her to fight. Cause yeah. All right, let's do this. Is yeah. there any way we can like skip this? Um, yeah, if I can start. There we go. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Um. Yes, yeah, so this is the tutorial level, so it's just telling you how to play the game. So, um, just so everyone knows, I actually haven't played any Fire Emblem games, so this is the first one that I'm uh, trying out. Which is great, uh, this is the first one that came out in the States. Um, so this is just called Fire Emblem, but uh, I think in Japan it's a Rekka no Ken, Blazing Sword. Um, so it's actually the seventh game in the Fire Emblem series. Um, Are you real? Yeah, dude. Huh. Um, so uh, this is a prequel game to uh, Roy's game from, like, Roy from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Uh, so his game never came to the States, but um, the prequel one where the, his father's the main character uh, um, came here. This is, that's the one you're playing right now. So you're playing the, the kind of the tutorial section that was designed for Westerners who are first experiencing this game. I was about to say, so like this, is this not in, uh, in the original version of this game? No, no, it is, it is. Um, they just added it as a sort of like, okay, we'll design this game as an entry point for the series for people in Japan, as well as in America, because, I, I don't know, I don't know what came first, making this an entry point or making this the first uh, game in the West, but, you know, it just kind of lined up. Um, so yeah, this is the first, um, uh, Fire Emblem game I've ever played, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I've been a huge fan ever since. Um, and I'm so excited because they, they announced in a, another final game for the 3DS to follow a follow-up to Awakening. Well, not like story-wise, but just having it, more Final Emblem games is good. I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm, I'm glad that that series is getting its day now. Oh, yeah, so you use Vulnerarys to kind of that's, that's the potions. The yeah, it, it heals you exactly 10, so... Oh, cool. Um, yeah, you're... Yeah, just, uh, you know, see how it goes. Um, so yeah, you've played Advanced Wars before, right? Yeah. It's the same kind of logic. It's made by the same people, except that um, your units in here all, are all characters, and if they die, they die for good. So, don't fuck it up. Do you think you can stand up to Bada the Beast? Bada the Beast! The yeah, tutorial the, the, level boss! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is all he'll ever aspire to be. <laughs> it's giving you a false sense of danger while you just destroy him. How dare you <laughs> stand up to the almighty and powerful Bata the Beast? Yeah, is he tougher? Is he really? Oh man. Okay. Well, comes if, oh, if I fall, I want you to flee. And does she die here? Yeah, it's it. The, yeah, this is a very short game. Right, here we go. Oh, you missed! Wow! What a you suck. were so lucky. Uh, oh my God, you got a critical hit. That was only a one percent chance how did of you, happening. How did I, Bato the Beast, get slain? Oh! oh it's almost like no this. man could defeat me. I am no man. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Woo, that was close. Yeah, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good thing this whole entire level is on rails and there's actually no random numbers going on. <laughs> well, no one can defeat me, Lynn. Yeah. Um, so, 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 if I'm to understand correctly, so, Mark's, er, not Mark's, oh, uh, Roy's dad wasn't, uh, you know, uh, he, oh, that's how this works? Yeah, you have to, some, yeah, some chapters you have to seize whatever the, um, castle they, they're in, so. Yeah. Ah, alright, so, um, now, just to kind of, I guess it's weird because in one of the, well, I guess it's not going on now, but, um, in an earlier, uh, episode we recorded today, I, I mentioned that I'm, uh, I'm not really good at platformers, I'm actually a lot better at RPGs. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's kind of why I wanted you to check this out, um, yeah, and like I said, you played. Yeah, you were being on. Jesus Christ! Yeah, oh no, dude, they just kind of. I we were, every single we were, main we were having such a. Open. We had to have a, <laughs> a light-hearted conversation, 
I, I guess in this game got a lot deeper than I'm willing to. Uh, I mean, I don't know. The story is not like uh, you can. I, I oh feel like my you can... god! I'm the last of my tribe. Yes. Uh, it's... The Uchiha clan was not very. It's full. Yeah, I, I don't really think. Not that this game specifically, I'm not really into for its story. <laughs> um, you can kind of tell. Why is she that telling it's not... this to some dude? Ah, uh, because you're friends, because you fought those two dudes together. <laughs> we defeated the or legendary say, bot to the beast. You told her how to fight those two dudes by I telling shed... her to move up in front of them and attack. Well, <laughs> well I guess I guess I would bond with the person very well if I also helped them defeat bot of the beast. Yes, but that was a very harrowing battle that uh, you guys will never forget ever. No, I, you know what, and I feel like we're going to see more of Bada as we play through this yes, game. Yes, yeah, Bada is the main villain. Um, actually, he, he trans he's like, he's, he's like... He's the Ganondorf! No, he's, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's the Ganondorf of uh, Fire Emblem, really, yeah. He, he has multiple iterations oh, across uh, every generation. He's the, no, he's the Dio Brando. Yes, I was about to say, it's the Dio Brando. <laughs> yeah, I really loved Awakening because they brought back Bada the Beast. And, uh, yeah, it was just like, it, it was, gave a lot of closure to the story. <laughs> Give her aid in the art of combat. <laughs> yeah. Um, so oh I mean, this, this game is a little roughly translated, I feel like, but you know, whatever. So we, we're gonna we're gonna save. Yeah. Keep going. We should rotate our saves. <laughs> Why? No. That. No, oh I'm, shit. I'm yeah. Messing. I don't know how we're gonna handle like you're because you're probably gonna fuck up at some point. Well, we'll, 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 we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The All apprentice right. tactician Mark and the young sword fighter Lin. A strange pair are even on a stranger journey. Prepare for the long road ahead. Shit, they I, go I to Bulgar, the commercial center of... Okay. okay. You, that you guys are paying attention. We, okay. You know why we're doing this. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I fucking don't. What? what? Uh, oh, well, <laughs> no, because they're, they're paying attention. Me and you are kind of playing this game as, as it comes. and um, I, Honestly, one of the reasons I got super interested in Fire Emblem was because of the 3DS game. I, I kept seeing art of it, and I'm like, this looks awesome. I, I really want to play this game. Yeah. And, uh, this is Bulger, the biggest city of the circle. It's uh, alright. Let's get to some fighting. Hmm. Oh, yay! Your first group Wait, of Wait! Oh, beauteous one! I heard you had slain Bata the Beast! <laughs> 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 Who would slain such a legendary fighter? Bata the fucking Beast. <laughs> Where are you from, Sir Knight? I was one of the slave children bought to head captain. Oh my god. We can't, this is the, you can't, we can't be doing callbacks to Bata the goddamn beast. Let's see ya. I, Bata destroyed my hometown. <laughs> so, and, um. And I swore vengeance. These guys are one of your, like, he, he's, He's one of the two cavalry you're going to be getting in your first, uh... Oh, uh, is it because he wants to... Is it because yeah, he, he wants, wants to bone Lin, I guess. Well, I, it's funny that I also... It was, I was trying to think of a word not that was not bone. Well, but whatever. Like, he's, but... a, he's a... He's kind of the swarmy wom womanizer and, um... Say, Zane, oh, yeah, and, then, and then Kent is his, like, straight man. Oh, know? yeah, he's straight, all right. Yes. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of um, cool. Um, it, it's kind of funny. A lot of so, um, while all these different Fire Emblem games have different characters and they're not even necessarily set in the same universe, right? Like, so like these people never. I don't think pe these people have ever heard of Marth. You know, like I don't think it's in the same universe at all. Really? Um, yeah. Um, so like in the latest Fire Emblem, it's in the same universe that Marth was in. Marth, is, Marth being the very first Fire Emblem pro protagonist. So at that point, Marth is a legendary hero from sorts. You know. Oh right. Um, right. So in this game, like, but they all still have that same the like sort of archetypes to them. So like. You'll always get at the beginning of the game two um, similarly like styled uh, uh, cavalier or yeah cavaliers that are so like they they're called Cain and Abel because in Marth's game the first two cavalry you got were Cain and Abel so these two are the Cain and Abel characters it's you know it, it's just kind of funny that like there's a lot of um, I don't know like the fan community is kind of from, like oh like this guy's your Jay and this guy's your Oifi this guy is your you know uh, it's just or whatever uh, uh, no and, and and that that sounds really cool actually. But I just wanted to draw attention to this guy. Ah, oh, you're a pretty one, aren't you? Wait, your name is Blindus, is it not? Who are you? I heard you slayed Bata the Beast! God damn it! <laughs> what a waste! My son! <laughs> <laughs> the Beast is just a last name. <laughs> Son of Shino Sadame, the beast. <laughs> hey, there he is, or she is. What? 
Oh look, it's dick bags from earlier. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta Boom. advance the plot and fight more bandits. We're gonna be we finally more caught bandits. up to you. How's everyone doing? You're from. We can discuss that later. It appears the ruffians mean to do you harm if they fight them. Fuck it. I just want to fight. Let's I, do this. Um, would anyone be upset with me if I hit start? I hit start. All right, do it. I think we're getting to the point. Well, yo, you are you the one called Mark? Find out next.